I wanted to talk about another thing you mentioned in the State of the University speech, which was international connections and yes. some of the the new projects that the university is working right. on there. Um, one of them was an agreement with uh, Taiwan. It is with Macau, with the with a, with an elementary school in, in, in Macau. And tell me a little bit more about. Well, that. let me give you the kind of the overarching okay. uh, uh, goal there. Uh, it's really an exchange. It's really the recognition that, uh, and this is a fact that, that I'm going to state here that surprises many Washingtonians, we are the most export-driven economy uh, in the United States. Everything from Microsoft to Anderson Hay, uh, from, from Boeing to Treetop, is, has a large uh, export component to it. So our economy is heavily dependent on internationalization. So the students, if they're going to be successful, whether they stay in Washington or not, but particularly if they stay in Washington, as we hope they do, are going to need international awareness and international experiences. So there's two ways of doing that. Uh, one, and the best way, is to get the students overseas and let them live and be immersed in, in whatever uh, culture and community uh, they, they, they are interested in studying. Uh, not every student will have that opportunity. So the, the next best way is to get representatives from those societies into onto our campus so that they, they get exposed to those uh, uh, to those cultures that way so it's an exchange is the mechanism now the Macau uh, Macau has a similar interest uh, they 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 ha they have a hard time getting native English language teachers into their into their classrooms uh, and particularly in the arts, in, you know, in music and dance and, and so forth. Well, we have one of the best music and, and theater programs and a teacher ed programs uh, in the United States right here. So what we're really doing there is having uh, student teaching experiences for some of our students in schools uh, in, in Taiwan. So they'll go over there, they'll, do their, they'll get their credit for their, their, uh, their practicum, but it'll be in a, in a foreign country. So it's a win-win. Macau wins because here's a native English speaking student, highly prepared, highly skilled uh, in, in his or her um, uh, profession. And their students get the benefit, but then our students get to live there for, uh, for a quarter and get to experience the culture and learn a little bit of the language and so forth. So as many of those kinds of experiences as we can, as we can generate for our students. And in this one, Macau is fitting most of, footing, excuse me, most of the, um, most of the bill. And there's a new Office of Global Services and Initiatives. It is. We have had for a long time um, uh, an office that focused on these, on these programs. There's a lot, as, as we expand them, there are going to be special needs for visa applications and processing for Homeland Security uh, um, uh, uh, issues. We're also going to have to make sure that when, when we bring students here that we're prepared to, to address their transition from another country into our particular culture. So that office will be generating a lot of those uh, and, and managing a lot of those exchange relationships. And funding for the office? is Most of it is existing funding. There's an additional staff person that, that we have created to run that office, but most of it is, is reorganization within that, uh, uh, within that function. Right now some, and I think this is correct, 93% of CWU students are from in-state. That's um, correct. Will this affect um, the ability of in-state students no, to... No, no, this would be additive. This would not be replacement. So we, we would see these, uh, this, this program as, as adding to the diversity of our campus, but not, not a one-for-one one, uh, uh, We have the ability of absorbing more students physically on the campus. Of course, it will require additional staffing as we generate more, more enrollment. But physically, we can handle more students than we currently have on the Ellensburg campus. So no, it won't, it won't be a replacement. It won't be... If we take in one Chinese student, it's one less Washingtonian. No, it'll be both. And the goal is to get them together to learn from one another. And um, will these agreements with foreign countries and universities make money for the university? Well, they will. That's the, uh, I mean, I don't, I, the, the, the prime goal is the exchange. But the, but the reality is that, that out-of-state students generally, but international students particularly, pay higher tuition fees. Uh, they also tend to uh, at least initially live on campus and you know take a dorm uh, room and those fees there and then they tend to eat on campus at least for their first year like a lot of students and they'll move off of campus if they if they so choose so yes it'll be it'll be a positive revenue source some of that positive revenue will go to 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 pay for the exchanges that is the sending of our faculty staff and students overseas so it 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 should be a revenue neutral or a revenue positive program including 
paying for itself and added exchanges for our students. It, 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 most, many uh, universities, particularly those on, the, on, on coastal areas, have been doing this for, for many years. We're a little bit late to the game, to be honest, but it's, it's, the time is now. Anything else you'd like to add about that particular subject? Mm. Well, I think it'll enrich, I think we'll find it very enriching to the, you know, we talked about Ellensburg and, 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 and Central. I, I think there'll be actually an, an enriched environment uh, in, our, in our community as we get more faculty, staff, uh, and students with international experiences. I think it'd just be a fascinating area. And we'll be asking, the, one of, the, one of the, the subjects talked about that breakfast was internationalization. And a number of community members stepped forward and said, well, I'm of such and such a heritage. I'm of Chinese heritage or I'm of, I'm of uh, um, uh, Mexican heritage. I would love to be involved in the hosting and, and the um, introduction of students to Ellensburg. And then others said, well, I'm not of that heritage, but gosh, I'd love to have a group over to my house and we'll do a barbecue in the summer during their orientation so that everybody knows that they're welcome. So I think it would be wonderful, and I think it'll happen, that Ellensburg welcomes these, uh, these uh, students, faculty and staff in just as the university does. It'll be enriching to, I think, everybody. Hmm. Um, anything else you'd like to add about happenings on campus or? Um, yeah, I, I think, um, um, we, we've, as I kind of as we started off, there's been a lot of adjustments that the university has has gone to. Uh, much of them kind of forced upon us from outside. Some of them initiated by by, by the leadership team, and I, I think now is the is the time for everybody. And I say everybody on campus, but certainly uh, uh, people in the community kind of joining in. President Obama in his in his uh, State of the Union address. Uh, ended with a, with a metaphor that I thought was kind of compelling when he was talking about uh, our, our military forces and, and why they fight and, and, and how they fight. And he, he talked about the, not just the camaraderie, but how everybody has each other's back. And he used the reference of the SEAL team uh, that went in to, uh, uh, to, to Osama bin Laden's uh, 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 compound. And I think that's the, that's the spirit that we all need to have, we, getting each other's backs, teamwork. Uh, picking up the load for the other person, rather than siloing, rather than quibbling that uh, uh, this seems to be more advantage than that. Let's just all pick up uh, a shovel and dig together. And I think that's the that's the spirit that we're trying to put on campus to say, you know, we're in charge of ourselves now. The state has withdrawn so much money. It's it's us. We're here, and the the town I think is beginning to say the same thing. Let's just work together and make this place the place we want it to be. Well, thank you very much, and thanks everyone out there for watching today. I'm Joanna Markell, the editor of the Ellensburg Daily Record, here with CWU President Jim Godino, and this has been On the Record. If you'd like to submit questions, feel free to email me at jmarkell at kvnews.com, or also just post one on the Daily Record's Facebook page. Thank you.